Mine's perfect. That may not be a pleasing noise to many, but for Summer Bivens, it's music to her ears. A recent Facebook post detailed she was left with a clogged garbage disposal. And naturally, she reached out to receive assistance from a plumber. But allegedly, he accepted payment for a job that was left unfinished. I was upset. I was, I felt scammed. I just, I was mad, more mad than anything. The source of that anger, Jerry Smales and the Mountaineer Plumbers a company that she claims didn't fix her issue the first day, but did return to resolve the issue. So the second day, it took him a few hours. He was like, it's fixed. He turned the sink on like this and said, see, it's draining. And then he left. And I, I paid him his money, of course, before he left. And he was still in my driveway. I go to clean my sink out, and the sink is not draining at all. It's still clogged. As an alternative to paying a man who she says revealed himself to not be an actual plumber, she instead hired AL handyman Arnold Lambert, who fixed her sink for me within two hours of his arrival. Lambert says the previous man did not even come close to removing the source of the clogged disposal. And Biven isn't the only one to have fallen victim to the alleged scam. The gentleman they sent did not know how to use the equipment that he brought with him. Um, I had to show him how to use it, had to reach my hand into the trap to get the snake started. Uh, and when he left, after a couple of hours of poking around in the pipes, we still had a leak. Uh, I'm sorry, a clog. They came out. Um, they replaced the hot water heater. We went out to dinner and then came back. And, you know, at 8 o'clock that night, we went to bathe our son. We still didn't have hot water. So we called them and they said sometimes it can take a while to fill up. So by the next morning, we still did not have hot water. This issue stretches far beyond alleged consumer fraud. Mountaineer Plumbers has allegedly claimed to be affiliated to Modley's Plumbing and Heating as well. A claim Modley's Plumbing says holds little to no truth. Do you all have any uh, partners or affiliates? No, we're not affiliated with any other companies here in Beckley or West Virginia. He claims Smales used his business name to gain more customers. Clogged drains, <laughs> backed up garbage disposals, and everything in between has brought this group together. And then as the um, Facebook posts went on and on, then I saw that I wasn't the only one. Where I saw it had happened to multiple people, I didn't feel alone. So I, I felt like I wouldn't be standing by myself. And she would be correct. Those who say they've been scammed all hope for the same outcome. I would just like to see no one else get ripped off by this. Uh, if they're not actual plumbers, then they don't need to advertise as such. And I would just like for no one else to have to pay a lot of money and have no results for it. Um, I want folks to know um, who this is. You know, I, I don't want anybody else to be scammed by him. We feel that something needs to be done when we're operating our business legitimately and he's doing things under the table slide. I, I don't know how he's getting by with it. Um, I was wondering if everyone that you sent out uh, to do jobs were certified plumbers or any, any other type of service that you send out? Of course. Okay, and I was also wondering if you would be free and willing to do an interview today. I don't know if you've seen maybe some Facebook posts circling around uh, making claims, and I just wanted to be able to debunk those if you would like to um, be able to make a statement on it, just to clear your name. Uh, sorry, I'm too busy to do that. Okay. Um, I mean, do you have a second right now just to say whether or not what people are saying is true? I don't know what they're saying. I, I know uh, they're they're saying that you sent out um, uncertified plumbers to coming, well the most recent one was a plumber was coming to send out to declog Oldman's uh, garbage disposal I think and she said that he didn't fix her sink um, and also told her that he was not an actual plumber. I have master plumbers working for me so I don't have time to be um, playing Facebook troll games so Please don't waste my time like that. Do not call my office. So no. what they're saying isn't true. The truth is, online his business listing takes you to this apartment complex. Residents here tell me this is his personal home. The truth also reveals he doesn't have a contracting license and there's no proof he ever has. I don't have anything that says Mountaineer Plumbers. So it, it probably is not an actual in-standing company if you don't have the name of it, correct? 
uh, if it does not come up, they do not have a contractor's license. One victim says she wishes she would have taken legal action sooner on Mountaineer Plumbers. At the time, it was named Beckley Plumbers. Another business ran by Jerry Smales that did not have a contracting license. I just felt like I was giving so much of my attention um, to Jerry Smales, which he did not deserve. So I um, didn't go as far with the complaint. Um, I had also consulted a lawyer um, about taking him to court about it. And, um, you know, I didn't go as far with that. And so when I, when I saw the uh, other client of Beckley Plummer's complaint, I felt like this would be my chance to do more and I wish I would have done more last year. We frequently receive complaints about a whole host of topics. One of them every year relates to contractors. It seems like this is one of the top complaints that comes into our office. And though those complaints may come in the office, nothing can be pursued or resolved until the filing process is completed. Exercise your rights, have a good experience with the contractor. Most are good, avoid the bad apples. Morrissey says looking up reviews in advance is also a good way to weed out bad contractors, along with other background search on any business you choose to hire. Here for you in Raleigh County, Tierra Brown, WVVA News. Thank you so much for that report, Tierra. If you believe you have been victimized by any contractor, reach out to the Consumer Protection Hotline at 1-800-368-8808. So now let's turn to meteorologist.